today. I put this scarf on my head because child, I was not getting on camera the way my hair looked. But happy Friday. Welcome to another vlog. If you are new to my channel, hi and welcome to my channel. So right now it's Friday. Y'all know what that means. I am working from home. I'm about to get me some coffee on and have my coffee, um, do my usual Friday thing. I need to make my coffee, get ready to work. I'm already on the clock, so to speak. And um, of course, listen to the podcast so I can make my post there. Make sure you're following us at Two Chicks Talking Shit. That's where my podcast is. If you guys don't know, I do have a podcast and it is just what it is. Two Chicks Talking Shit. We do girl talk. We do celebrity gossip. Gossip current events a good key key think of it as like being on like facetiming your girl just think of it like a group facetime with your girl you just you can join in on a conversation but you kind of you know you can have your whatever you know what i'm saying but it's like that that's what it is so and it's a way to see um a different side of me because i am multifaceted so yeah um I'm about to do that this morning and and get my day started, make my coffee. It is all, it is warm. My apartment is on. I know I'd have said I, I was gonna stay only because I just didn't feel like going through the whole thing of looking for another place um, and I didn't prepare the way I wanted to, but y'all. I like my apartment, but it's just little things that really bug me. Like I can't control my heat. And so it is like unseasonably warm right now in the Chicagoland area. And they still got this heat on Ida B. Wells project heat. That's the way I can say it. Like it is hot like that. So I got my ceiling fan going. I got windows up. I'm calling them today. I'm either call or walk over and be like, look, Y'all got to figure something out. I'm supposed to have something that can kind of control the heat. But it's not. Because I don't even think that thing worked. Like, the thing ain't even hot. I don't even know where the heat coming from. So, yeah. So, then we're going to get my day started. And I'll talk to you guys later. I decided to go ahead and take me a little breaky break. Uh, I look rough, child. But, yeah, I'm taking a little break. I'm watching this um series on National Geographic. It is um, MLK, MLK and X. It's like this contrast between Martin Luther, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s life and Malcolm X's life. So that's what I'm watching. But I'm just taking a little break from work because I have been working, child. I have had a lot of work to do. So I'm taking a little break and looking rough. I took that scarf off. I plan on taking a shower and washing my hair today. But right now I'm taking a break and I feel a nap in my spirit as well. So I just wanted to come in, check in, and I'll be back. I have taken a shower and as you can see, I've got my hair together and I'm starting to look like I should be on camera. So I'm about to curl my hair because as you can see, it's a lot of waves because I need a relaxer on top of the fact that my hair is just wavy anyway. So I'm about to curl my hair and I am watching, um, I'm still watching um, MLK and X. I stopped because I got the run of my mouth on the phone. And uh, why is not playing? I got the run of my mouth on the phone and um, so I paused it. And then I went on and started washing my hair and stuff. So I'm about to curl my hair and do that. I'm waiting to hear from my sister. I think she's coming out here and she wants to go to Buffalo Wild Wings. So that might be the plan for us tonight. And yeah, so let me go ahead and curl this hair up really quick. And yeah, I definitely need a relaxer. Um, yeah, I don't be knowing what I be wanting to do with my hair. Y'all yeah, know I said it was going to be uh, bald head hoe for 2024, but I kind of feel like, I don't know, I'm starting to feel like I want to grow the top of my hair out a little bit more. I don't know. I really don't be knowing. I'll probably grow it out being hated. 
and then want to grow it back. I just, I don't be knowing. I don't be knowing what I be want to do with my hair. I am proud of myself because uh, one thing that I have been consistent with with my hair is that I have, uh, I've been consistent with sticking with the gray because I used to be a type of person that would color my hair all the time, but I've done really good with like sticking with my hair color. And I, you know, as far as getting it cut, I haven't even been really been getting like any drastic cuts or anything crazy. So I've calmed down a little bit with my hair, but I, you know, I still be going through it with not knowing what I want to do, how I want to style it, what I want to do with it. So, yeah. And like now I don't even know what size colors to use. I feel like these might be two. Perfect. All right. So, yeah, let me curl my hair up real quick. And I am still hot. It is still hot in here. But I'll be back. So, hair is curled up. I didn't do too much, but. Good morning, happy Saturday. I am up getting breakfast for me and my sister and my nieces. Yeah, just grab some McDonald's real quick because I did not feel like cooking anything. So we get breakfast sandwiches um, and I'm waiting on them to come through. And I'm gonna go home and enjoy that and chill out for a little bit. What's on the agenda today? My nieces wanna go to Walmart and stuff. They wanna go pick up Valentine's Day stuff. And then later on tonight, I'm going out to dinner with my girls. So that's the plan. But right now I'm about to go eat these sandwiches, chill out and re relax for a little bit. And then, yeah. Well, since I'm in the car waiting for, uh, in the car waiting on my sister now to get down ordering them this food, I'll show you guys real quick what I got. We just went to the top, we went to Walmart and uh, Dollar Tree, and I got this shirt, this bodysuit to what for for tonight. It is from Walmart. It's from the Time and True line, y'all. I told her to take it off the hanger, but. Like the quality of this, like it's just a round neck, plain sleeveless bodysuit that I'm gonna throw on tonight. And then they had this, I'm throwing stuff. They had this, I probably could have did this better in the car, but this Whitney Houston, I'm holding a phone. So this Whitney Houston tee, ain't that cute? Uh-huh, I grabbed that too because I want to update my my um, graphic tees. I want, uh, like, for, like, when I'm putting on outfits and stuff like that, when I wear a graphic tee, I want it to be more of, like, um, I don't want to say trendy, but, like, I want, like, more band graphic tees. Um, music, like musician graphic tees or artists or something like that. I just wanted to make a little bit more sense as opposed to just wearing a graphic tee that say, you know, something random. Instead of just having like a bunch of random graphic tees, I want graphic tees that have like bands and stuff like that. Like your Nevadas, your Nirvanas, your Pink Floyds, like, you know, you know, iconic artists, your biggies, your Tupac, like all that type of stuff. I want graphic tees like that. So I'm being more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm being more intentional. I'm so sick of using that word, but I just want to make sure that when I buy graphic tees, I'm, buy, I'm buying those and not just stuff that have words and stuff on it because I want the look to have a different type of look, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm waiting on them. Um, it's two o'clock. Um, I have to meet up with my friends at six. So 
um, waiting on them. Then I'm going to go home and start getting myself prepared for tonight. All right, so me and my girls are going out for Valentine's Day, and I came up with a great idea to wear pink, even though I don't have a lot of pink in my closet. But this is what I'm wearing. This blazer is from Zara. Bodysuit is from Walmart. Love it. It is snatching and doing what it's supposed to do. And the jeans, I'm going to wear these jeans out. These are from Fashion Nova. And I am also have on my fry boots from JCPenney because I'm wearing those out as well. And I'm mixing metals. I got on gold. I got on some silver, Apple Watch. And I got a C popped on a red look. And this is the look for tonight. We got gifts. Yes, honey. Wait a minute, this chocolate? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it was funny because on the back it says service size three balls. <laughs> <laughs> Why not two? <laughs> well, if you got three, I got questions. We're loaded in here. If it's three, I got questions. We got cards. Oh, we got chocolate. Oh, oh, we got that. It's that hemp. Ooh, mascara. Ooh, smudge proof because I got watery eyes. Aw, yes. come on, Red. I'm going to try this. Yes. Ooh, low shade. Well, what I put this to you? That's all you know I can do. Um, oh, it's a uh, scent here, too? Okay, it's scent. Scent burn. Yeah, that's a scent. That's a uh, Cartier okay. scent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We like stuff. <laughs> right. Oh. Okay. We fancy coffee. I'm keeping that box. <laughs> the only time I probably have some coffee yet. Uh... So it's scent bird. It's a it's um it'll tell you on the inside what it is. There's nothing for like you. It's just, it's just a sorry can so it tell you the name of the perfume on the inside. And I got a bunch I like of little samples. First of all, Tia know all little kind of gadget stuff. Yeah, because it, it locks so it won't like just spritz it. And a card. Good morning and happy Sunday afternoon. I am just getting up for the second time of the day. I had to get up early this morning because last night I caught a flat on my way to the city to go to my Galatine's dinner. I did make it. I was like, I'm not going to let this stop me, but let's have a quick story time. So, um, yeah, I was driving. I heard a weird sound and... You know, I immediately slowed down to start checking to see if any warning lights or anything were going to come on. Nothing did, so I kept trekking on the way. And I want to say maybe five, ten minutes later, bing, tire pressure light went on. I was like, okay. And when I tell y'all my tire pressure started shooting down real fast, like it was like boom, boom, just going down. And that was, was just going down. And so I did manage to make it off of the expressway um, into the city. I went to the first gas station. Of course, their tire, uh, their air wasn't working. I made it. So um, I made it to another gas station. I was just like, if I could get to my girl's house, I'm good. I'll figure everything out from there. Made it. My tire pressure started going down real low. And so I was like, all right. So I made it to another gas station. Like by the time I made it to that gas station, I was at one for my tire pressure. So I was able to put uh, enough air in there to get, I could have put some more, but I was able to put enough air in there to make it to her house. And then I parked that joker. We went out, had a great time at our dinner, had so much fun. The place was really nice. It was called Hacienda. Don't give me the line. I put it in here. It was a good place. It was cute. The food was good. The service was okay. The service was a little slow, but it made up for it with the uh, atmosphere. They had nice music playing. There was a lot of mm, 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 
Mm. But it was mixed with like, uh, like you know, known songs. So it was just like, mm, mm. and you singing like a regular song. So it was like that. Um, they had a lot going on. People were ordering like all these drink specials and towers. And when they came out, they made a big thing about it. So that was cool. So yeah, I my other girls brought me home. And I came home, I got in the bed, got up this morning and went and got my tire fixed. Shout out to the walkers. That's my girl and her husband because he, her husband helped me out a lot. He put the spare on for me, took me to a tire shop and we got it done or whatever. So, but I am still salty because my tire was a new tire. It wasn't no nail. I didn't run over anything, it, nothing like that. This was almost like a defective tire. So I'm definitely reaching out to the tire shop in the morning. So yeah, so I came back and took me a nice a little nap. And now I am um, about to get up and chill out for a little bit and then head out to go. I decided, At first I was like, I'm not going to watch the Super Bowl today, but I think I am. So I'm about to go, you know, prepare myself for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So this is the outfit for today. I'm about to head out to go watch the Super Bowl. I just put on those camos. These are the same camos that I had on last week. I just threw them on with my reverse bread Jordan Lowe's. Really kind of digging Jordan Lowe's right now. And then I have on this sweatshirt that says I love being a black woman. I am rooting for the Chiefs, so I did throw on some red and white. I don't have any Chiefs gear. And that's it. I don't have on makeup. I got on some mascara and lip gloss. And I threw on these little stud earrings. And that's it. So, yeah. Go Chiefs. We won. Woo! Go Chiefs, y'all. I am. A Kansas City Chiefs fan, even though I am in Chicago. I broke up with the Bears uh, a couple of years ago and have been with the Chiefs, rocking with the Chiefs, and we won. This game was stressful. Who this game stressed me out, child. And for the first time ever, I played uh, squares for football, the, the Super Bowl squares, and I was this close. I'm talking about child. One of my squares came up. It, it goes by like the score. And so my one of the squares I chose, it had the score. And it was so stressful because my throat is still. It was so stressful because it was like uh, San Francisco was in the league, but I'm rooting for Kansas City. And it was like fourth quarter, down to 16 seconds. Kansas City scored, so it bumped me out of the square. But I was just like, this is stressful. Like, I was like, I want my money, but I also want my team to win. I was just like, ooh, this is so stressful. But, um, uh, so I, I, <clears throat> I lost my square, but I did in turn uh, get to see my team win, so. That was a plus. Beyonce, this Super Bowl was something else. Beyonce dropping songs and albums on us during the Super Bowl was just so disrespectful. I played it on the way home, but I need to really listen to it again. So, yeah, she is giving us country and western. So, get your cowboy boots out. But, yeah, it was a good time. I enjoyed myself uh, today for the Super Bowl. So, I am about to wrap this up because if this the Super Bowl is over, y'all know it is time to go to bed, child. So I'm about to wrap this thing up and get in the bed. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. Thank you for watching all of my vlogs. If you saw, I did make a post in the community tab about um, doing a meetup. Go and check that out and also Leave comments, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Go Chiefs!